what's happening everybody? In today's video, we're going to be going into the differences between a marketing and sales video compared to a branding video. So today it's going to be an interesting one. So in the last video, I kind of touched on the differences between a marketing and sales video compared to a branding video and the importance of a videographer understanding the differences for their clients so they can better advise their clients and help their clients achieve whatever it is they want to achieve. In this video, I want to clarify and get rid of the misconceptions behind what is a sales and marketing video when compared to a branding video. Now, as much as a lot of people don't like sales, good marketing has sales within it naturally. Now, if you look at a late night commercial, for instance, the first thing that they do is establish what that product is. You have never heard of that product before, but now you have seen that product and heard of that product. The second thing that they do is establish the need for that product. They show you the problem that that product solves. By doing that, it automatically gives most people that have the same problems the urge to purchase, which leads to the conversion of actual sales for that business. That, in a, in a nutshell, is what marketing and sales is, is that awareness factor. And a lot of the time, clients, as videographers or creatives or photographers or whatever, they are always asked to create something that is marketing and sales, something that affects the bottom line instantly. Because when people see this, say, on a, on a Facebook advert or an advertisement or on their website or on TV, whatever it is, it leads to sales. Now there's nothing wrong with that, but there's a time and place for that, which I'm gonna get into in a bit. Now branding is slightly different because branding is about establishing a core group of people that believe the same beliefs and have the same values as a certain demographic. And often it's attached to a cause that is bigger than the brand and the individual themselves to the point where a tribe of people will attach themselves and feel a sense of ownership to a brand or to a business because they share these common beliefs and values. Now personally, I think branding is the strongest way to go. The sales and marketing video is gonna be received totally different when compared to a branding video that has already built up a relationship with a certain demographic. A brand like Apple, for example, is already liked, trusted and respected by the majority of people that know about Apple or that like Apple products. Whereas a commercial or marketing and sales video, it's a total fresh new thing. So it's like getting a recommendation from somebody that you don't know. Whereas having a brand is like being referred by a friend. It's someone that you trust. When you're creating a video, you've got to take this on board. You've got to have this in mind because this is gonna change the way that you craft and mold your video, the way that you create your video and the elements that you make sure that you get across within your video. That's why I always recommend to businesses, especially when they're not well known, start with branding first and build relationships and then when the time comes, you release a marketing video. You don't do it the other way around. A lot of people are thinking, I'll, I'll launch a business or I've got a business that isn't well known online, so I'm gonna do a marketing and sales video straight away. It isn't about that because you, you'll have limited success. Don't get me wrong, you can get sales by doing a marketing and sales video. But what I'm saying is, the level of results isn't gonna have the effect that it could have. So it's all about building a brand because if you wanna stay in the game for a long time and you wanna help as many people as you can possibly help, then it's all about the branding because you want to be known within your field or within your industry, whatever it is, that you're that go-to business, you're that go-to brand. But as a videographer or creative, you need to understand these concepts so that you can advise clients because a lot of clients don't know this information. A lot of clients are just thinking, bottom line, we need profit. This is how we do it because this is how it's always been done. But with the world of social media and things like that, they don't understand it's about giving value. It's about giving as much as you can and not asking for anything. And it would totally change the game because you will build ambassadors. Now I'm gonna give you two examples of branding and why it works so well. Most people remember the Christmas Coca-Cola advert that always comes on just before Christmas. It normally shows the Coca-Cola truck and it's traveling down, it's got the same jingle bell type of music. And you know, when you see this on TV, it's officially about to be Christmas because they release it about two weeks just before. This is really good for the Coca-Cola brand because Christmas is affiliated to happy family memories. So it's attaching itself to something else that is already treasured 
within somebody's heart and it's building on that. And by doing that, Coca-Cola was able to establish itself as the top soda brand within that market and they was able to take the majority of the market share just simply because there was top of mind but also emotionally because it was attached to Christmas and the feeling that it gave, it was, it was entering into the heart as well. And that's why branding is about winning hearts and minds. Now if we look at what John Lewis recently did with their Christmas adverts, they was very clever in what they're doing and, and what they've been doing over the years. They released an advert that was about a boxer dog. Now when this parent had set up this trampoline, he went in on the night time and all the animals come out and they started jumping and playing on it. It also shows the boxer watching them from inside. So because he's watching them from inside, he's wanting to do it. So the next morning he runs out and jumps on it and the family are actually watching it happen. So it's using humour as well because in the boxer's world, he's jumping slow motion, all that type of stuff, which is a great way to show what's going on within their world. But then they speed it up to real time when people are walking past the house and it just shows that while in their world they're, ex they're experiencing a gift and they're loving it, but in everybody else's world it's continuing as normal. But you're changing somebody else's world with this gift. It doesn't even mention John Lewis are selling this, this, this and that product. It just says everybody can enjoy gifts. And they're using humour with it as well. You always remember that thing that really made you laugh. You're always going to remember that like feel good injection like when you see something so remember that when you're creating your videos. Now another example of a great advert, a great movement and a great brand which is one of the ones that I was a part of as well is This Girl Can. Now This Girl Can is all about encouraging and inspiring women that are not active to get active and these are your average type of women not the gym goers, not the people that already look like they're in good shape. The advert was all about inspiring women and showing women that anybody can do this. You do not need to be the typical type of women that you see on adverts to be able to get active and it's encouraging and inspiring them. This is why it was important within the advert to show normal looking women rather than the photoshop type of women that you normally see on sports adverts. It's the normal type of women that might have a bit of cellulite, that might jiggle a bit and actually using that as a, a, a marketing aspect to get across that actually yeah you can jiggle if you wave one arm and your other arm waves and that's fine. So if you're working with a client and that client wants to appeal to a certain demographic, you need to really understand that demographic so you feature the main pain points or the main problems that they're going through within that video. What the person's gonna do, they're gonna look at that and they're gonna think, you know what, that's me too. Because you showed that you understand their problems. So if you show that you understand their problems and their pain points, then they're gonna like, trust and respect you because you actually hear where they're coming from. If you start talking about things that are not even relevant to them, it's not interesting to them. In today's day and age, more than ever, you need to prove that you understand somebody's perspective. Not only that, but that you've walked in their shoes or that you understand what it is like to walk in their shoes. And you need to get that across in your video. And by helping your um, clients to understand the importance of getting across these pain points and problems, within videos and highlighting them and then ultimately offering a solution which this girl can does by doing that automatically you're going to establish yourself as somebody that understands this demographics point of view and you keep doing that it's going to compound and compound and you're going to start a movement just like the this girl can movement in the uk right now these are just some examples of branding done well but notice the key examples is they never asked you to do anything. They never asked you to buy anything or to go and purchase a product or service or anything like that. All they done was attach themselves to a bigger cause the same way John Lewis did it with Christmas which is a bigger cause. This girl can did it with activity and inspiring women to get active, get healthy and feel good and have fun and that's why sometimes as a creative it can be frustrating when you go into a business and they ask you to create a video that is all about just selling a product or service. At the end of it, they just want you to say, buy here, do this now, contact us. So you can actually suggest alternative routes. Don't be scared if someone approaches you and says, I need a promo video, which is sales and marketing. Actually, you know what? I think a branding video would work really well here. And I think at the stage that you're at right now, it will benefit you for the long run. They need to hear a creative suggest these types of things. And like I said in the last video, this will help to establish you as an authority within what you're doing, but also as a, 
a desired advisor to keep on the team, which will also help with long-term contracts. So quick question for you guys, what is the best branding video that you have seen from a business? What is the best one? What is the one that's made you think, no way, that is next level. That is like the ultimate. Whoever filmed that is like the top grandmaster Shaolin of videography. Like, what is the best video that you've ever seen? Leave it in the comments below so I can check them out. So I'll see you guys on another video soon where I'll give you more tips on how to get stuff done as a creative so that you can add to your skills as a videographer, photographer or graphic designer. So hopefully I'm going to give you the marketing aspect as well.